1962, a 20-year-old student at the University of Chicago hitchhiked his way south. He traveled to Atlanta, Georgia, camera in hand, to document the civil rights movement. While in Atlanta, Danny Lyon joined the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee and acted as staff photographer from 1962 to 1964. The photographs Danny Lyon took during these two years have become historic documents, a record of a movement to which he was deeply committed. Despite Lyon's devotion to the struggle for equal rights, as a photographer, he tried to remain as objective as he could. In an interview several years later, he said, I had to maintain a certain distance because it was important that I not lose sight of what I was doing. Danny Lyon helped change the type of documentary photographs that people took. Soon after publishing the movement Documentary of a Struggle for Equality, Lyon started to photograph other subjects. His first solo photography book, The Bike Riders, A Study of Outlaw Motorcyclists, was published in 1968. Between 1963 and 1967, Lyon had immersed himself in the outlaw motorcycle culture. He joined the Chicago Outlaws and spent a couple of years as a member, riding a motorcycle and taking photographs. Even though he was part of his subject, just as with his civil rights work, his photographs retained an observer's perspective. Gaining access is a theme in Danny Lyon's work. Following his publication of The Bike Riders, Lyon completed documentary work on the Texas prison system. Lyon's work is very personal and gives us, the viewer, access to people and places we wouldn't normally get to see.